Bruce, you mentioned um, the the fragmentation that is involved in our culture and, and coming out of an overly cognitive or behavioristic form of Christianity. Um, what, what, what if, if those are places where, where the evangelical church has, is, is maybe uh, coming out of, what's, what's, what's ahead of us? What do, I mean, do you see kind of new or uh, um, places where there's still uh, room for growth and, and, and do you see a sense of what the, what the next uh, kind of hurdle is for, for folks on this? I think there's two, um, two areas where I think um, uh, we, might, we might think about. I do think we're seeing and will see uh, increasing fragmentation and uh, even the whole notion of sort of what the evangelical tradition represents and what evangelicalism is, I think we are seeing an increasing fragmenting of identity that is just part of the, um, uh, the rapidity, the mobility, and the fragmentation of society generally. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, the two areas where I would uh, think uh, would be most promising is, um, one is areas of activity that are not fundamentally programmatic and it's not simply a matter of how do we gather resources uh, to take a new initiative, uh, to plan, to gather resources, to implement, evaluate, and repeat. You know, and that kind of model of resourcefulness is, um, and it's not that we don't need good institutions uh, doing good things, but I think the whole sphere of, um, of uh, the freedom to act, the freedom to act personally, even in the midst of institutional life, and uh, it's the, you know, we're uh, talking um, a little bit about C.S. Lewis because of the anniversary. And I just think of the importance of the friendships, the hidden history of friendship, you know, of the inklings, the hidden history of friendship as the source of fruitfulness of great enterprises. And often sort of behind these initiatives are just uh, people acting in the freedom of, uh, of their own persons to reach out in friendship, in hospitality. Uh, the second area I would think that to be, for us to be attentive to is the margins. I think so often renewal comes, um, you know, not necessarily from the, uh, the leadership of the pastor who comes off the mountain with a great vision, but it may be the youth group. You know, I think about in the early modern world how many renewal movements began among young people. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a death in the community, the young people gather to pray and then the sense of spiritual concern spreads to, through the whole community. And so I think, I think it's good for us to be attentive. God is at work. He is building his kingdom. Where is it happening? But I think in the area of, um, of uh, the intimate, the personal, even the private sphere, and on the margins might be places to look. Mm -hmm.